Hello and welcome everyone. This is your guide, Ryan Phoenix. Today I'm climbing back aboard the bus we continue the tour of Illusion of Gaia. And welcome ladies and gentlemen to Jim's Mansion. That's right, last time we made our ways a decent bit of the Tower of Babel, the famed Tower of Babel where our dear old dad disappeared so long ago. At least it seemed so long ago. <laughs> uh, did a bit of a boss rush, facing off against a few familiar faces from our past, and found the final red jewel of the game. And we managed to make our way back down to the town of Dao, or the village, or whatever word <laughs> used to describe it. And we were transported after delivering the final jewel to this place, to Jim's Mansion. So let's go ahead and make our way through this rather spooky looking mansion with the ghastly faces in the foreground there. And yeah, you know, uh, not liking the looks of this, and not re really not liking the looks of the map here as we pull this up to see that we have 38 enemies up ahead of us. But we do have one treasure chest, sir, so it's not all bad, right? Right? Alright, well, poor Lil Will against 38 baddies. Let's go. And it is uh, only Will that will be facing off here. We don't have we don't have any uh, means of transforming into the Dark Knight or into our more recently found form of Shadow. Uh, it's just just Will against against the odds here. So let's see how how we do. And you might recognize some of the enemies that we just took care of there. <laughs> These are actually enemies from uh, way back in the mines when we. We're taking, uh, uh, working our way down through the mines to save the slaves, the laborers that were down there. So we have the these Gorgon Eye looking enemies. Let's try to get him to come down our way. Thank you. <laughs> we will launch lasers when you are in their sights. And you also saw the uh, sort of lizard men with their chain whips. Uh, like, get, okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, let me try to keep the launch attack going for the invisibil invincibility frames. And let's, I really like to use the slide maneuver as much as I can in this area, because that seems to work out really well for taking care of these enemies. Mostly two shots them. Uh, try to avoid that whip. Thank you. And uh, there are a lot of uh, walls and such that you can knock an enemy back into to take them out pretty quickly. Alright, let's take you out and try to avoid getting lasered to death. That would be preferable. Uh, I haven't... Uh, I'm gonna try not to show off there, but the enemies here do a decent bit of damage. They do about two hearts worth of damage with every, with every hit. So, I'm going to try not to get hit. We'll see how well that works out. Uh, we do have these uh, plant sort of creatures running out of the, out of the abyss here. <laughs> Their attacks, as you might have seen, will uh, track you. They are a bit of homing attacks. I don't remember if they were quite like that in the uh, original incarnations of these enemies, or if that's new to this area. It doesn't seem like they track you quite as well, at least, at the very least, in the other place. I think I have to go around and get one more of these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and wait this out and block it. <laughs> they will eventually uh, lose focus on you, so to speak. There, uh, yep, there, I got hit for you. <laughs> Not really for you, there, it just kind of happened. But we'll say it was just a demonstration there. Yeah, that's what it was. That's all. Uh, I can't get you from this side. That's a shame. Alright, well, we will have to go around to get that guy. But, let's go ahead and head up these stairs. Uh, yeah, you cannot go through here, apparently. The statue, even though it's on the handrail, is actually blocking your path. Uh, you know, limitations of 2D graphics and such. Uh, we can jump down there. This this will be a nice place for uh, Frieden's ability to jump down and shock the enemies around us there. But, you know, can't be Frieden here. <laughs> I am still disappointed in that ability that there was never a good uh, place to use it to show it off, really. Ah, walked right into that guy there. Shame on me. But here we have the one treasure chest in the dungeon, and it contains an herb. And uh, I'm actually quite <laughs> happy with that there. So now we have three herbs in our at our disposal, so hopefully we won't need them. 
especially for this place there. I'm going to try to conserve those as much as we can, but let's see how things go. Not having too much trouble with this place so far. But as I said there, these are essentially enemies that we already dealt with, so you're able to use uh, the tactics from before. And I do remember that you were waiting for me there. I got you in one round, that's good. And I think that I got, yeah, Gorgon Eye guy waiting for me up there. Ah. Now these ones here are kind of tricky there, because uh, if you're too close to them, it's difficult to properly block those projectile attacks. So you want to get a sh shot or two in, back off, and then block. Let's see if I can get you before. Yeah, alright. <laughs> before you launch your attacks. That's preferable. Back up, block, and I uh, should be able to get you no problem with the next round. There we go. And we should have two more over here. Now the ones that are from the side aren't as much of a problem because you have a little bit more breathing room between you and the plants. So you have more opportunity to block properly. There we go. And I'm still <laughs> to go and grab those even though I don't need to. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, we already got all the enemies that were in the abyss around this. So yep, we only got the one enemy here. We got one more lizard man to deal with. And there we go. And yes, uh, <laughs> no, no bonus, no rewards for this one. As I mentioned before, our uh, stats here are the maxed out stats. They're 40 HP, 30 strength, and 32 defense. So, yep, no real reward for clearing out all the enemies, but you know, that's the way we, we, that we do things here on the tour bus. You gotta clear out all the enemies, gotta have everything nice and neatly wrapped up. Uh, that's the completionist in me going. And, oh, we got still the door here. Alright guys, sorry about that. That pause break there, that took a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying there, we have this lone, lonely looking door here. So let's head on through. See what awaits us on the other side. And here we have some sort of monstrous looking thing there. Kinda looks a little, a little familiar though. Huh. Welcome to my home. The jeweler gem is a temporary form. The true form is called Solid Arm. You know, you look—you don't look like a solid arm to me. You look more like a, like a mantis, a, a metal mantis, kinda, maybe, a little bit. <laughs> Long ago, the blazer came down from the sky, and I was put to sleep for a long, long time. Uh, if you do not rec recognize or get the reference there, we are obviously talking about Soul Blazer, the first game of the series, which I did do a tour of. If you haven't seen that, there, uh, go ahead and click on that little eye icon up in the corner there. <laughs> That'll take you to the playlist there, and you can find all find out about Blazer and his history with this with this fellow here, whose power is contained in the red jewels scattered around the world. I've tried many things to bring about my own resurrection. It is I who manipulated the labor trade. Really? You're you're the guy behind the labor trade? That seems kind of out of nowhere there, a little bit. I tried using forced labor to find them, but I didn't restore my power fast enough. I'm sorry, but I will have to defeat you, too. Now, with that you, too comment, are you talking about laser? Because I'm Pretty sure you didn't defeat him. Yeah, if I'm remembering right there, we beat you pretty soundly <laughs> in the first game there. And speaking of being somebody soundly, we are here for boss time. Uh, repeat boss, kind of, against the Metal Mantis or Solid Arm, as he apparently likes to go by now. And this is a uh, completely optional boss fight, obviously, that you can only get if you get the 50 red jewels, which apparently this guy was Jim all along there. He was the one that was kind of manipulating us into getting the red jewels just to bring his power back. Eh, that seems pretty strange. It seems odd that they would take this boss of Soul Blazer to <laughs> use such a backstory for. Like, the first boss there, he's the one that had his power <laughs> uh, separated and... Uh, was needing resurrection there. Ah, uh, well, I got completely out of my rhythm there for <laughs> that thought, that line of thought there. 
so shame on me. But as you can see here, uh, Solid Arm has a very similar setup to uh, Metal Mantis from the first game. He has these three conveyor belts. Uh, if you can tell that the middle one is going up towards Solid Arm, and the other two are pushing back towards our platform here. And you can see, as I'm doing here, you can actually hit Solid Arm from this lower platform. Uh, sometimes you get two hits in, sometimes you get one, and you can obviously block his projectiles, as I'm doing here. <laughs> he has these three projectiles, and they do track if you are not uh, blocking them right away, similar to the plant enemies from uh, the level previous. And uh, if you are at a diagonal to him, he will launch fireballs uh, at a diagonal, a single one at a time, unlike these, which is three at a time. Oh, okay, <laughs> take that pot shot at me at the end there. <laughs> but uh, yes, so you could also go up on the upper platform and attack him from there. He will swipe at you with his arms, but when he swipes at you, he is temporarily invulnerable. He goes all metal on you, similar to uh, the metal enemies from Soul Blazer. You'll hear the kind of like dinging sound that means that no, <laughs> no damage is being taken. But yeah, so <laughs> you can do as I did there, or you can uh, find your own way, however you want to handle this boss fight. Uh, I took quite a beating there, like I said there. <laughs> I got out of rhythm. There, it is easy to get uh, st to step onto that middle conveyor belt and launch yourself up at Mel Mantis there, or Solid Arm. <laughs> it's easy, easy to get sucked up there, but you know, you can either run to one of the other conveyor belts and make your way back down, or you can find them up there. It's up to you. However, you want to handle that there. I think we handled it decently. <laughs> could have gone better, but could have gone worse. Either way, we hear a quiet ver voice. Let's hear. I was defeated again. Laser was strong, but you are stronger. Danger approaches this planet. You should hurry to the Tower of Babel. And with that, we have defeated the optional dungeon here, and we're uh, brought right back to the tower there. That's pretty darn convenient there, so thank you for that. Uh, Solid arm there. I appreciate the convenience. <laughs> now I would go to Dow and then make our way back here. And we ourselves are dark space here, so I am definitely going to go ahead and take the opportunity to talk to Gaia, get ourselves healed up. And the comet draws near. The time for your last battle approaches. This is the last time I will talk to you like this in this place. Now we already read this before we can let's go ahead and Continue with your rejuvenate power, defeat the comet, Dark Gaia, and become the Dark Knight. Shadow's greatest power, the Firebird, or the Phoenix from the first game, will arise when you are one with the Light Knight. So we still have to figure out who this Light Knight is. So let's go ahead and record. Finish recording, continue our journey. Then go. Go forth. After defeating that optional dungeon there, we can move onward and upward in the Tower of Babel. With Kara still at our side there. Uh, glad that you're still sticking around with us, Kara. Alright, another door. Ooh. I don't know about this. Oh. Got ourselves a skeleton. It's very creepy. Uh, let's talk to it. One worn out body is quietly laid down. In his head, a familiar voice speaks. In, in my head? Uh, am I hearing voices again? That happens a lot in this game here. Will, it's me. Ullman, your father. My fa my old man, old ma my old man, Ullman? <laughs> anyway, it appears my body has decayed, but I live on like this. Like what? Oh, well, a spirit form, apparently. Father? Why are you in that form? There's a strange room in the Tower of Babel, filled with the lights of the comet. Time goes so fast there that people evolve very quickly. Why, why are Kara and I able to live? Because you too are evolved humans. What? Evolved humans? Like, uh, uh, I don't know. I guess I can see where you're saying that about Will, but Kara? Us? Long ago, 
there existed biological technology using the light of the comets. People freely used the power to make planet, plants and animals. For example, they made the camel. <laughs> really? That's where the camel came from? Okay, I'll go along with it. You can go for long periods without food or water. When people realized the power could be used as a weapon, demons were developed. Darn it, people. <laughs> the world was brought, was on the brink of ruin. At that time, the nights of darkness and light were developed to decide the fate of humanity. They are your ancestors. Our, our ancestors? The, the nights of darkness and light? What that mean? The six mystic statues were made by the knights. The last mystic statue is entrusted to you. Wait, you mean you're entrusting it to us now? Well, we had five of the statues. We got the fifth statue from defeating the mummy queen there. And yes, we have acquired statue number six. Huzzah! Soon the comet will be very close. By then... The two of you must go to the roof of the tower. Close your eyes. And that is where we're going to wrap up this episode of Let's Tour Illusion of Gaia. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed your time on the bus. I hope that you guys tune in next time for the finale of Let's Tour Illusion of Gaia. To the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And any comments, likes, and so on down below, I appreciate it even more. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay gold, my friends.